Hello and welcome to the June subscription coffee video where we are going to taste together, I hope, uh, the coffees that we're sending out on the first Wednesday of June to all our coffee subscribers around the world. If you don't know what a coffee subscription is, check it out on our website, there's a link below. But it basically means I pick and choose the best coffees we have in storage and we send out to all our coffee subscribers and you can subscribe to for, for one to six bags per month. And we send that out every first Wednesday of the month. Um, and we normally send out three different coffees. So that means if you subscribe to six bags, you get two of each bag, for instance. But um, this time, we're actually tasting more than three coffees. We're tasting five coffees. And that is because we are doing a little bit of uh, spring cleaning in our warehouse. And we have some rare lots that we wanted to send out, but we didn't have enough, so we had to kind of uh, take some more of those rare lots to, to send out to all our subscribers. We were supposed to send out some Kenyan coffee, but just like last year, uh, the container was stuck first in Mombasa for two weeks because the boat left it there. And then once it was on a new boat, uh, it was left in Jeddah, the port, for two weeks uh, because it missed the other boat that was taking it to Europe. And, uh, but now it's on its way, so hopefully we will be able to send out fresh crop Kenyan coffees for next month, and that means the July subscription. Hopefully, let's cross fingers. Otherwise, we have a backup plan, of course. So, let's taste the coffees, and uh, we will start with the first coffee that we'll send out to all the One Bag subscribers, and of course, everyone who subscribes will get this coffee. And we sent out this coffee a couple of months ago, but a different picking, and that might ring a bell for a lot of your, our fans. Mm -mm -mm. It's a very chocolatey and fruity coffee. And it's from the farm Nascimento in Honduras. It's one of my favorite uh, coffees, I have to say. Uh, it's not the Bourbon, it's the Pacas. Uh, that means the cultivar, it's the Pacas cultivar. Uh, but this is the latest picking that we bought last year. So it means, I think it was picked in June, somewhere like that. May, June, at least, uh, the transition there. And it actually consists of a few pickings that we have blended together because the lots were very small when they picked at the end of the harvest. Now, when they pick at the end of the harvest on this farm, it's quite from uh, or from the highest uh, elevation on the farm. And that means the cherries there have been maturing for a longer time. And like every year, it tastes more of everything. <laughs> it's kind of nascimento where you just turn up the volume a little bit. So expect a little bit more intensity of the fruitiness. And for me, it's more like a kind of a dark cherry or kind of acidic cherry that we have here in Norway. <laughs> Lots of these kind of winey red berries, like blackberries, forest berries, kind of mixed together. We have a, a cordial here in Norway called Hus Holding Soft, and uh, it, sometimes it can taste a little bit like that. Yeah, and still it has this kind of heavy body with a chocolatey uh, character. So very sweet, round coffee. <laughs> and really nice fruit. Now, if you don't have a Kenyan coffee on the table and you taste this blind, some people confuse it for being a Kenyan coffee but you can easily tell it apart if you have a Kenyan coffee on the table because the acidity level is a little bit lower, but still it has that kind of uh, Kenyan fruit that uh, a lot of people recognize when they drink Kenyan coffee. So the first bag we're sending out, Pacas from the farm Nascimento, and expect flavors of red fruits, a little bit of chocolate. Some people find a little bit of stone fruit like mango, very ripe mango. I Personally, I have more reference to these kind of red fruits from when I was a kid, so that's the words that I use for, to describe this coffee. But mango is not, it's nothing wrong. Maybe that's what you ate when you were a kid. So the second coffee, we have also sent out before, but a different lot. And every year we buy a lot of coffee from this place, but we normally buy two or three different lots. And this was also the latest uh, kind of delivery, and it's from Kenya, it's from Karagoto. Cargolta is a washing station that many of you might recognize from before or from our, uh, from our uh, offerings because we have been offering this coffee for many years. And this was the last lot that we bought last year. And uh, it's still very, very fruity and very sweet, uh, quite refreshing. And I thought because it's June, you might need to uh, make some iced coffee at home. And this coffee is perfect for it. We're currently using it in our bar to make iced coffees. And the way we do that, we have a recipe, we can put a link below, but we basically make a V60 and we cool down the coffee, put a little bit of sugar in it, and then just drink it from a wine glass. And it's very refreshing. Ooh. 
this particular lot for me is very, very smooth, the mouthfeel. Uh, has more of this kind of rose hip uh, fruitiness, uh, not so much of the black currant flavor that you can expect from some Kenyans. So it's a little bit lighter and uh, kind of more delicate, a little bit floral as well, but I um, expect this kind of hibiscus, Florida Jamaica, um, uh, rose hip kind of flavors. Now, for the last three coffees, we're sending out to all our three bag and uh, more subscribers. And the reason why we have three coffees is because we didn't have enough of each one. So we will send out randomly to the subscribers. So uh, some of you might get uh, one coffee, another one will get another coffee and so on. Uh, and the first one that we're sending out, believe it or not, but it's a geisha from the Cabero family in Honduras. And it's a honey process. We only bought 60 kilos of this coffee last year, and uh, we're sending all of it out to our subscribers. <laughs> and you might have uh, tasted the washed version of this uh, particular cultivar from the Caballeros, which for me, at least this year, was incredibly intense. Lots of mandarin flavor, lots of jasmine flavor. This one, in addition to that, has a little bit of this kind of stone fruit, kind of ripe strawberry notes in the background. And that's because the coffee is honey processed. And honey processed means we depulp the cherries, we dry the parchment coffee, still with the mucilage on. But Moises is drying it in very thin layers and very carefully. And that means you don't have too much of this kind of fermentation going on during drying. And he get, he's able to produce a very, very clean honey processed uh, geisha. So for me, this is one of the highlights of the year. Uh, even though I'm more a fan of washed coffees, I really enjoy drinking this honey processed Kenya, no, uh, Geisha from, from the Caballeros. <laughs> I remember serving it to a chef in Denmark that we like to serve coffee to, and he always said, oh, this reminds me of drinking champagne. <laughs> maybe, maybe not. <clears throat> it's definitely coffee, for sure. So, uh, some of you might get the Caballero Geisha honey process. Now, another coffee that we're sending out is from Finca Tamana, and this is the first time ever that we're offering this coffee. And we didn't buy a lot of it because Elias doesn't produce a lot of this coffee yet, but it's the Java cultivar. Maybe some of you have tasted it before from the Caballero family, and um, when you say Java, you might think of green tea, uh, like white chocolate, these kind of flavors. At least from the Caballero family in Honduras, the Java tastes a lot like that. But this Java from, from um, Tamana, you can see that the beans are a little bit kind of more oblong in shape. And for me, this coffee is really, really distinct. It tastes a lot like oolong tea, um, which is kind of a slightly fermented tea. And it has a more floral character than the Java cultivar from the Caballeros. And funnily, it's the same seeds, because I'm the one who gave the seeds to Elias. So these are actually the seeds from the Caballero family that we planted in Colombia on Finca Tamana. I think we planted it five years ago. And this is the first time we have a proper harvest where we are able to sell uh, some coffee. So I think we got 150 kilo of this coffee. So unfortunately, not enough to send out to everyone. But hopefully, we'll get more of that coffee next year. But the uh, Java washed coffee from Finca Tamana. And then the last coffee we're sending out is also from the Caballero family. And we have sent this out to some of you before. And it's the Pacamara from the Moises and Marisabel in Honduras. <laughs> now, last time we sent it out, it was actually a different lot. We bought two lots last year. This one for me is a little bit more intense. It has more of this kind of Pacamara fruit flavor which for me is very difficult to describe. I, it's fruity, but I haven't really tasted a fruit that tastes like that. <laughs> so normally I call it pacamara fruit, but it reminds me a little bit of this kind of tropical fruit called guanabana in, uh, in uh, Colombia, which is a kind of white fleshy fruit with big seeds inside. And it has a kind of a stone fruit uh, flavor as well, but also a lot of kind of chocolatey and robust flavor. So it's quite a powerful coffee with a lot of body. And a really interesting complex fruitiness, but I just can't really pick out exactly what kind of fruit it is. We don't really have a fruit in Norway that tastes like this. So I call it Pacamara fruit. 
So this pacamara is uh, washed, and that means uh, depulped, fermented, and then dried on raised beds in shade. And I think in total we bought around 200 kilos of pacamara last year, and uh, this lot was the smallest one. So we only had 60 kilos left now that we're sending out to our three plus bag subscribers. <laughs> mm. So hope you weren't too confused here. For one bag subscribers, you'll get the Nascimento from Honduras, Pacas variety. Uh, two bag subscribers will also get a bag of Cargoto from Kenya, SL28. Think of very refreshing red fruit, wininess. Uh, and then if you subscribe to three bags or more, you'll get either Caballero Geisha Honey Process, the Java from Finca Tamana in Colombia, or the Caballero Pacamara from Honduras. I hope you enjoy the coffees and please, if you subscribe to more than one, then make sure to taste them side by side. It's so much easier to describe and kind of uh, taste the coffees when you have something to compare with. And if you only subscribe to one coffee, you can still compare it to another coffee. So get a coffee from the supermarket or instant coffee or an espresso, whatever you can get, or a quality coffee, of course, uh, and then compare it to the Nascimento and you might find that you'll find different flavors when you taste it side by side. That's how I learned how to taste coffee, and uh, that's how most people learn how to taste anything, is to compare one thing to another. I hope you enjoyed the video, and uh, hope to see you next month as well, uh, where we are crossing our fingers that Kenyan coffees will have arrived, so that we can send out fresh crop Kenyan to our subscribers. Um, maybe if you get the Karagoto now, you should save a little bit so you can compare last year's uh, harvest with this year's harvest. That's a good idea, I think. Thanks for watching. Hope to see you soon. Have a great June.